so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets. We're going to five minutes of them going on sale when we get inside. We're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Oh! Nice judo toss for him. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. That's a big strike right there. Both guys appear to land there. He's got the single collar tie. Nurmago Manoff going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Nurmago Manoff. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. Another take down land. He passed the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. That's a jab. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Immediately gets the underhook. Now some separation. Swing and a big miss by Nurmago Medov. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And again, he shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the fight to the ground, but once again, the takedown defense holds up. But he knows this. He knows that in order to... He's wobbling now. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! He went high on that one. Big right hand. Oh, nice kick. Oh, that's big. What a fight we got going on here. Quick jab lands here. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful 
transition. And now he's attempting choke. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Postures up, knee on belly. He's raining down brawling Paul. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Nice enough by the man. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken, like, a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good, never mind a kick like that. A full epi slap in your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shit in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and move into the over as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Setting up an arm bar now. It's tight. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Great shot from the top position. Oh, slick reversal right there. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Making all these shots count. Might be a submission attempt here, Chandler. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. 
Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to home right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. All right, so a little wealth there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore him. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Get right here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. While just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts, he's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Big left hook coming. It's blocked. A little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Final seconds here. Another big takedown. In a very oh, wow. close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. It's all right. This round, once you avoid the strike, let them think you're going to strike. Lure them in. Drop down. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just missed with the elbow there. Keep your distance. Keep Nurmago Medov going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counting as we go forward. He passes the half. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Khabib's back in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Lands with the ground and pound. Nurmago Medov's right back to the full mount. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Nurmago Medov's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Well, he postures up yet again and delivers another big ground and pound strike. Nice sequence there by Nurmagomedov. 
Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Push him on! Push him on! Nemagomedov's back inside control here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass. Oh, he's out! All right, working inside the close guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. That was a slick transition. Side control now. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Back to the jab now. Oh, great block there. Nice kick, yep. Beautiful combination. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Real nice body kick lands. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Gets to the single collar time. Right. That's right. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right, dig deep, deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the other. Number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fight. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Hammer fist here by Nermago Medov. Nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Mago met up, going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Useful. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, 
so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with an knee strike there. Under three minutes to go in round four. Nice jab there by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. I know that he came down. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Heavy leather leather on both sides in that exchange. Marco Medoff gets the takedown. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Patrick. Nurmago Medoff gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Superman punch now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look at how it Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a pain. All right, single collar tie now. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Right into side control. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. How in the world did he escape that submission? Back to his feet. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here. And unable to get it, so the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged right. again. The horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonale will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused about where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. about the output for this fighter here. A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Beautiful leg kick lands. He's back to the clinch. 
Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nermago Menov's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Khabib's trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Holding on to the submission attempt here. Oh, he's out! Working out of the half guard here. Uh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position on real to see. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Big power shot there. Oh, lands another hook. Fantastic team now. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he got to the spot. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Nice hook, Lance. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Nermanko Medov strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, nice low kick. Nermanko Medov gets another takedown. The question now, what will he do with it? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's advancing. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. The Ladies official decision is now in and resides with Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nirmago Meta. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Habib Nirmago competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column.